157 and three quarters, 71.6 kg, and a lemon stone free. And three quarters. Don't forget the three quarters, yeah. Three quarters. Bezzy's coming downstairs and probably interrupting me when I pose. Thanks so much, Bezzy, for coming in and just trying to ruin my posing session. On my back? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, every time you lean back, it, it's not. Okay, so how about here then? Yeah. Okay, so no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, the light's just every time you lean, it causes a shadow. Okay. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, a little bit at the top. Everything has been in a really good place. So obviously, more a positive but a stressful week as well. This rotation one or this rotation here, I, I was just get. It just didn't feel good, mate. Like I was just doing the session and it was hard. Like dumbbell movements, like any kind of incline press and that, I'm struggling with. Like I, I can just feel the weights in my hands and I know they're getting heavier enough. Hi guys, welcome to today's full day of eating, rest day edition, I hope all is well. Can we smash 400 likes, 400 likes on this video? Because every time I seem to ask for likes, people like the video, so I'd greatly appreciate that. Straight to the point, rest day macros are as follows, 250 grams of protein, 250 gram of carbohydrates and 70 grams of fat. We're looking at about 2,600 calories. And for people who will ask me, you saw my weight at the beginning, I'm 157 pounds at five foot six, five foot five. That's my kind of height, really short for a person. Little dwarf as people like to call me in the comment section. So what I've done this morning is obviously I weigh myself, I had a poo, I did some posing, which you saw. I'm looking leaner still, slowly getting there, slowly kind of adding a little bit of straight shape and structure to me, having a few more extra lines, slowly getting lean as with 22 weeks out. And I also showed you a little bit in the checking process which I do with AJ. So I send him over a video in regards to my week and I answer some following questions. So all in all, good start to the morning. Um, I need to go off and do my cardio, 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. I'm gonna give you my first ever review on your Himbine and see if we get any acute effects from just taking it in one serve and see what it's like. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video and also tag me on Instagram if you are watching these videos because I do really appreciate that and I like to put that on my story at georgeosm12. Let's fucking do it, George. So AJ has prescribed me 10 milligrams of your Himbine pre-cardio and the only time it does work is that you need to take it fasted and you need to take it with caffeine. So I have my kind of vintage kind of small mug here and I have four capsules, which is 10 milligrams. Fuck it. It burnt my tongue. Fucking hell. So I'm gonna drink this, head to the old gymnasium and we get some cardio done. Fucking joyful, eh? Bloody joyful. And the weather is bloody Baltic. Podcast I am listening to whilst I do my cardio is a vice, a vice, a vice's radio. And this has got Luke Zando after his Arnold Classic appearance. So yeah, I like listening to podcasts. I don't know why. Whether they're kind of knowing about more about the pros, whether it's about knowledge, about business, whether it's about fucking, I don't know, just general shit. I love listening to a good old podcast. So we're going to go in there now, get this shit over and done with, and then I'll probably see you afterwards because I'm just rambling a lot here. Oh, 
radio rounded up as well. Bloody hell, traffic lights again. <gasps> Fucker. I rounded it out, I hate Finney because it was like 385 calories or something like that. So what I did is I rounded it up, oh god that ain't good. I rounded it up to 400 because OCD wise, OCD wise it's just something I have. So I did 400 calories in total. Um, yeah it feels good, it feels okay. First initial thoughts on your himbine, uh, acute aspect thing. Nah, not nothing much really if I'm honest with you. Didn't feel anything particularly different. Potentially I was a little bit more focused so when I was doing my cardio I just felt like fucking hell I'm, I'm like daydreaming here if that makes sense quite focused on what was going on and timing a little bit quicker but other than that it wasn't like oh my god this is a crazy fat burn I'm sweating dripping you know my heart rate's going through the roof nothing crazy uh, like that um, and I also finished off with abs four or five sets of abs just to finish I did a rope ab crunch today um, 15 20 reps is what I like to work with more the higher rep range when it comes to abs um, and the main reason I did that after my session was just well after cardio just sometimes I cram it in when it comes to doing um, like my sessions throughout the week and stuff like that but apart from that all is well off to normal standard rest day uh, Tesco's run to pick up some salmon pick up some beef mints and some asparagus and green beans and some veg for my rest day setup man so, so for anyone that wants to know how to cook salmon you pretty much simply all you need is a tray so I've got a tray here Tin foil, get your one calorie spray or if you use olive oil, whatever it is, give it a little shake and then give some squirts on there. Bam, 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 bam. Get your salmon fillet. Got my salmon fillet here, which was 131 grams, which is pretty spot on. Place it on to the center of the um, tin foil. Get your seasoning of choice. My seasoning is smoked paprika jack forburn hopefully you're watching this mate and obviously give it a little bit of a sprinkle we are well we are wrapping it into a parcel so flip the that side over that side over and give these two a little twist and simply what i'll do is i'll put that on the oven 200 200 degrees I don't know if you can see this right now 200 degrees for 22 minutes oh crispy slightly overcooked salmon Oh, I know Jack Forburn, he might be watching this and he might think, damn George, that's good. So here we have meal number one. We have one salmon fillet, which was 131 grams raw weight, 180 grams of egg whites, or milliliters of egg whites, whatever you want to call it, and 125 grams of asparagus. And what I've done is I've put in, I, I've put in, that's not a word, I've put a little bit of uh, Nando's hot sauce on there. And what I'm doing now is I'm simply listening to the boss's feedback from my check-in earlier, and I'm also gonna polish down this Pepsi Max as well um, uh, uh, to go with it. So yeah, that is meal number one right now. So I received a delivery through the post. This seems to be just a regular thing. So we stopped up on our zinc and our, mi our magnesium tablets. The only brand which I'd recommend supplement-wise when it comes to, I mean, obviously your, your proteins, your pre-workout and stuff like that, different story. But when it comes to vitamins and minerals and stuff like that, Nutra Advanced is the only sites that I would recommend. It's a little bit more expensive, but when it comes to, for example, let's say your, your supplements and stuff like that, you have to invest. If you want to clinically dose stuff, that stuff isn't cheap, you know? You have to invest in products to get the benefit out of it, as well as doing it for a period of time. Don't just take these capsules and do it for like, let's say one week and think, oh, it's not fucking work, it's a load of bollocks. You need to be doing this for a longer period of time. Right? So stopped up on my zinc and magnesium, um, which I take pre-bed and sometimes post-workout, especially with the magnesium. Um, and yeah, two supplements which I'd recommend as well. Cooking up meal number two, we're gonna have 125 grams green beans to start off with. I fry my veg. I don't know why I like frying my veg. So simply what I'll do is I'll fry it. Duh, duh, duh. No shit, George. And then I'll get a lid and I'll pop it on there like that. Give it literally about five, 10 minutes. It goes nice and crispy, just how I like. So meal number two, nothing special, nothing pretty over here. We have 200 grams of raw weight, 5% beef mints, which I showed you earlier. 125 grams of trimmed green beans. Only have trimmed, I don't have these thick girthy fuckers. Don't like that. What we are gonna use sauce wise is we're gonna use the no added sugar or salt tomato ketchup. Obviously, I'm just gonna put on how many I think I should put on here. Just look, whatever looks good. There we go. 
nine grams. Typically on prep, I use teaspoons. So more mouthfuls, you know, think, feel like I'm eating a little bit more. Give that a little stir in there. We're also gonna have five of these lightly salted whole grain, low fat rice cakes, callow rice cakes. So five of those. And also I'm gonna have my one scoop of green powders, which Insight sent me. I think I spoke about this in my last video, but this is the BPN. Strong greens powder, lemon flavor. It's actually okay. It doesn't taste too bad. And there is the panel that it, for that, for anyone who gives a flying fuck, I'm stuttering left, right and centre here. I'm gonna sit down and speak to you about rest day nutrition, whether you're in a surplus, whether you're in a deficit, and what I personally like to do myself and with my clients. Again, some people are gonna think, that's wrong, George, you shouldn't be doing it like that. I do it this way, so that means you are wrong, or you do it that way, does that mean I need to change it to your way? This is just my opinion, and I'll justify it as to why I do this. So rest day nutrition on, uh, Rest day nutrition on a rest day nutrition. I've already fucking started. I've done this three times now. I keep stuttering left, right, and center and not making any sense. I'm fucking. Stop! So I like to prescribe rest day macros and train day macros uh, for some individuals based upon their need levels, what they are doing with their lives, etc, etc, and based upon the goal as well. So rest days, I personally view a deficit. I really like to use that as a calorie deficit day to burn. Well, you, you don't want to be in a surplus when you're in a deficit on your rest days. What are you going to get out of that? Because your averages for the week, you know, are going to be higher and, you know, your, your weight loss ball average per week is going to be less so th there's no point in that when it comes to being in a surplus i like to remain at maintenance or within a surplus because the goal within a surplus is you want to recruit as much tissue as possible within this phase and if you're spending time in a deficit whilst you're uh whilst you're on your rest day you know you're not going to progress it's going to maybe potentially affect the sessions a day after you know you might have a little drop in body weight on the scales the next day it could affect performance i've had that in the past where you know i'll do pro fat all day and then i have one carb meal when i'm in a surplus and my performance the next day would just drop absolutely no point doing that in my opinion well it, it, individual based again but i personally just go with you know whether you, when you're in deficit you know use utilize that day as a calorie burning day when you're in a surplus utilize that as a recovery day simple as that some people i mean your knee levels you're doing twenty five thousand steps a day you know on your feet all day doing this doing that very active again your demand for food is going to be higher compared to someone that sits on their ass all day then fuck all you know what i mean so again base it upon that but that's kind of how i do things i don't want people going fucking hell i'm gonna have to change my ways because george said this you absolutely don't if it's working for you then keep doing it or oh my god George you're so wrong because I do it this way and it's so great and it works for me great you keep doing your thing I'll keep doing my thing and maybe we will do his other thing that's kind of how I do it I've done this three fucking times because I keep stuttering and it's actually getting me down like I feel like I need to go back to school because I'm <sighs> So meal number three, again, we got some rice cakes. We got five whole of those callow rice cakes. We have an omelet, decided to make the omelet. AJ, um, back in his prep, actually kind of influenced me to make the omelet. So we actually have four whole eggs in here. We actually have, um, why do I keep saying that, I don't know, but we have four whole eggs, 120 gram, or milliliters of egg whites and 120 grams of mushrooms. And to be fair, I rarely ever make an omelet. I'm gonna give you a taste test. Yeah, a little bit, a good bit of mushroom. So, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Taste test. That's actually really good, like the, you know when you, you know the mushroom crunch in it as well? Yeah. That's actually made me happy. Like food don't make, like food on prep is same old shit. It don't make me happy, but that's actually made me really happy. Omelets as well, get a little bit more volume. Like, look at that. That there is a lot. If I had chicken, look at the size of that fucker. If I had chicken, that'd take me, you know, two mouthfuls. But now I'm on prep and have an omelet, it's more volume. And obviously with the rice cakes as well, five grams of carbs per rice cake, more volume as well, more mouthfuls, gonna feel a lot more fuller, um, and also the good old teaspoon trick. So that there is meal number three um, of the rest day. Absolutely lovely. One thing which AJ told me to do is get on the old sunbeds and start to get a, a nice little bit of tan before I go on stage. So AJ, hopefully you're watching. This one's for you. Sunbeds are in.
So meal number four looking like this. I should have really put this in a bigger bowl because it's a little bit overfilling. 100 grams of trim green beans, 210 grams of raw weight. Beef mint, 5% and 100 grams of long grain rice. What I literally do towards the end of the day is I normally have majority of my carbs, so almost carb backload and have majority of it like i said in the last couple of meals and then throughout the day i kind of have smaller amounts of meals maybe potentially higher fat um fucking no respect becca this is my meal going down right now macros will probably be on the screen football wise we are watching juventus versus atletico madrid that's one nil ronaldo scored this is me waiting for my oats to be done hurry the fuck up because man is hungry for the oats. So final meal of the day looks like this. Uh, the usual staple within my diet, the Quaker Oats, 150 grams. Luckily I didn't fuck it up this time. Jack Forburn, you know what I'm on about here. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Supplements wise, we're obviously having magnesium. What I am gonna try is I'm actually gonna try 300 milligrams of this magnesium, uh, which is three capsules, and then two zinc capsules, which I mentioned earlier, the two products which I get are Nutri Advanced, they're really, really good, clinically dosed as well, well, just fantastic panels and products. This is, I believe, off the top of my head, 30 milligrams of, uh, 30, yeah, is it 30 milligrams? Yeah, 30 milligrams of zinc as well. And obviously got my standard, you know, Support Max Neuro from Insight Supplements. Again, um, panel is fantastic. Again, experiment. I've done a video on this in regards to when to take this exactly. So experiment with your times. I take this pre-bed. And I've also got um, some pink Himalayan salt on top of my oats as well. Absolutely classic. Also, the classic protein I'm using as well is the way I way ice. Duh, 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 duh. Way ice lit 90 chocolate cookies flavor. That is a lights out meal. I call that lights out all out. So I wanted to round this video up. I hope everyone is okay. Thank you for watching today's video. If it's helped, then please drop a like. Uh, make sure you comment down below how everyone is. Comment down below car. I'm in my car. So if you're interested in commenting that down below, then please let us know. But thank you everyone that watches me. Plenty more stuff to come with 22 weeks out so let's fucking do this let's keep working george let's get to the goal uh, and let's make some fucking bitches proud so yeah thank you for watching um and i'll see you in a bizzle see you in a bit